What's going on everybody? In this video, we go out Funko Pop hunting for basically any brand new Funko Pops. Anything that I haven't seen before, anything that I just wanna show off to you guys, and that's pretty much the whole video. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, guys, get excited. Let's go out on the hunt and um, yeah. Here we, Here we go. What's up guys? So I haven't been to this store in a very long time. This is End Zone Hobby Center. This is probably the closest shop to me, at least where I live. So I don't know why I don't go here more often, but let's head on in, let's see what pops they got. Okay, folks, inside of End Zone Hobby Center, guys, they just have so many pops. You just kind of have to look through everything because everything's mixed in together. But they had Bruno from Encanto. It must be a restock. It's crazy to think that that one was a very desirable pop. Uh, but now it's a restock. We have the Venom comic cover, which I'm going to pick up because I do love me my Spider-Man stuff. So definitely a cool one to see. The Moon Knight cover, which is also a pretty solid one as well. But I think I'll pass on that one. But just looking through everything, guys, there's just a sheer velocity of so many things boba fett t-shirt combo which is pretty solid as well i'm not sure what the difference is between this pop and the regular one we also found a prince harry as well which is from the royal family and i thought to myself maybe we could find a queen elizabeth but i kind of looked through everything and was not successful in finding one we also found a luke cage which is the px previews exclusive which might be a good one to pick up sooner rather than later it could be going up in price soon but other than that that was it at end zone well, a couple of fun little gems here and there, but we did end up picking up the Comic Cover Venom, which is pretty dang cool. So let's head on to the next door, see if they've got anything. All right, folks, time to go to our favorite store, Walmart of all places. I'm actually kind of curious to see if we can find the new uh, pop masks. So we're gonna head on in, see if we can find those. I think it'd be fun if we could find them. I'm looking around the Halloween section, guys, and I'm not seeing any masks yet. I mean, I found these. Definitely, definitely not pop masks by any means. So maybe I'll keep looking around. You know, one thing that I did find was some of the new pop ornaments, actually. You got Spider-Man, Mandalorian, what else? Boba Fett, Sally, Jack Skellington, Batman, Groot. All the fun ones. I can't remember. There might be a chase of some of these. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll have to double check and see. All right, I found one that I think I actually want to buy for my Christmas tree, guys. We have Indiana Jones. That's pretty cool. Mr. Monopoly is a good second too, but I think I'm gonna pick this up today. I know that some have chases, but I don't think any of the ones that they have out right now do. All right, folks, and coming back to the normal Funko section, they got a lot of stuff, guys. They are definitely stocked up, as you can see in here. So let's take a look and see what they got. Actually, this is kind of cool. This is a something wild game. This might be a fun game that I might maybe want to play with like my nephew or something. So I actually might pick this up today. I'm picking up all sorts of things that aren't normal Fungo Pops today, but this is definitely really rad. I think, I think he would really enjoy this, so I might pick this up. Oh, okay, so this is new right here. This is the Anastasia. Dang, this is a classic movie. I remember this back in the day watching this on VHS, guys. Dang, does that date me right there? I don't know, but anyway, so yeah, these are some, uh, were these SDCC exclusives? I think they were, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, those are definitely new, really cool to see. And then guys, just take a look at the abundance of figures that they have in this section. It's just a total, I don't know if mess is the right word, maybe. There's just so many different ones. I actually saw a picture the other day of somebody that uh, posted one of those like big crates that they put DVDs in at Walmart, but it was full of Funko Pops. And I, <laughs> I would think it's only a matter of time that I see it at one of my stores. But yeah, nothing too crazy that I see in here that I want to pick up today. Sir makes a lots of funny one. You know, I've already pointed out it's got the big booty that he's standing on. <laughs> Anyways, guys, but uh, yeah, that seems to be it at Walmart. If there's anything else I come across, I will definitely let you guys know. All right, folks, next stop is Entertain Mart inside of the Layton Hills Mall. Just looking for what's new and maybe some other things that they've gotten in. So let's go check it out. Entertain Mart in the mall, guys, kind of looking at some of their new stuff. It looked about the same thing as I saw last time. I think this Tupac is a little bit newer, so definitely a cool one to see there. Kind of looking through everything. This Black Adam comic cover is definitely a solid one, too. I'd be interested to see what the glow looks like on that. I bet it would be pretty cool. Looking at some of their other new pops that are on the other side right here. They also have Digital Stand from SDCC, $20, which I think that's like five more dollars than it would normally be online. So that was kind of interesting. They had another uh, Moon Knight comic cover. It was on sale because it was damaged on the top right there. But more new pops, Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, um, a bunch of Funko sodas. You have this Iron Man as well. 
looking through all the different Funko sodas, guys, I'm kind of looking to see if maybe they had some chases or some different things. I'm still looking for that George Jetson one. So maybe someday we'll have to pick that up. But something that wasn't pop related that I found was this giant Homer Simpson Pez, guys. And for 10 bucks, I am not going to pass that up. I am a huge Simpson fan. Super cool to find. All right, folks, I picked up that giant Homer Simpson Pez. I'm so excited about it. Didn't get anything Funko, guys. It's kind of a random day of picking up things, but anyways, I think we're gonna go to another store, maybe Target, maybe GameStop. I'm not entirely sure, but I love this. Anything Simpsons old stuff that I can find, I'm definitely picking it up. All right, guys and gals, GameStop is up next. They have a little sign right there that they say Collect Fest 22. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe we'll have to head in and see if it's maybe some discounts on some pops or something, but let's go check it out. Let's see what they got. Okay, and then inside of GameStop, guys, they still had a good amount of their STCC exclusives. So the Transformers one, also the G.I. Joe Serpentor. Kind of interesting that they still had a decent stock of all of those guys. And then they also had the Penguin on the duck cart which was kind of cool as well and then they also had some of those new villains pops kind of looking in their normal section guys seeing if there's anything new they did have the sdcc exclusive driving uh goku which is kind of an interesting one as well but uh anyways guys that was pretty much it and then they had these two t-shirt combos as well all right, so we're all done at GameStop. It comes to find out that I actually had a pre-order, so we'll show off that pre-order that I had on a pop, but we're going into Target, hoping to see if we can find any new stuff. That would be awesome. Stopping by the toys real quick, guys. I'm always curious to see if I can find anything on end caps, and well, there's quite a bit of stuff, guys. We have the Captain America, you know, Blacklight, Sylvie Blacklight, Kate Bishop, and I think there was another one. Maybe it's just those three. I don't know, oh, and Wanda as well, so. They have definitely plenty of those. No shortage, that's for sure. But anyways, cool to see a good amount of those, I suppose. All right, and then their main Funko section. I feel like this is some of the stuff that I saw last time I was here, but there might be a couple new things mixed in. This new 11 um, in the rainbow room, it's kind of like a set piece kind of thing. I, I, it actually doesn't show all the rest of them that are on the back right there, but Target exclusive, definitely a really cool one. Bunch of Eric Killmonger, more black light, Cassie and Andor, Star Wars, like this Obi-Wan Kenobi art series, which is cool. You got the two pack of Thor and Thor, I guess, Jane Foster. Yeah, pretty much all the same stuff that I saw last time, so nothing new, unfortunately. But, you know, still fun to see some exclusives, I guess. Alright folks, it's been a few days and we're here at Target looking at some of their new pops. They got a ton of blacklight pops, kind of like how we've seen at some other previous Targets. They have the new Moon Knight Amit. That's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty decent pop. Moon Knight was a fun series for sure. You got Cameron from uh, Miss Marvel. A couple of new horror figures, actually, like Leprechaun, the new Carrie, Trick or Treat. We got Hannibal from Silence of the Lambs, some art series, Star Wars, so like Obi-Wan Kenobi, but yeah, not seeing anything else that's new. Like I said, I'm still looking for that E.T. exclusive. I don't think it showed up at some of my stores yet, so we'll have to come back here for sure, but you know, still a decent amount of new stuff. All right, guys, I decided to stop by another Walmart. I did look for masks, and I didn't find any of the new Funko masks, but I did find this, and I thought this was kind of interesting. This SDCC exclusive Zeus, well, quote-unquote SDCC exclusive. <laughs> that is um, definitely very interesting that they have that sticker here at Walmart and not the shared sticker. So maybe just for fun, just because it has the sticker, maybe I'll just pick it up. I'll look around and see if there's any more of them. But uh, I thought that was kind of interesting that they had this. But they do have a couple other new things. They have like this queen. Is it a four pack? Yeah, four pack. A couple of other like bigger things like the Jimi Hendrix one and the WWE Degeneration X two pack. But we're going to pick this up. Definitely very interesting that it's got that sticker. All right, folks, before our last stop at our last Walmart, we're going to head into Walgreens. I know that they've started to get in some of their Halloween pops, and I haven't actually checked any Walgreens. So I want to see if I can find that Blacklight Frankenstein. Let's go check it out. Let's hopefully they got it. Well, folks, so far I'm not seeing anything. The only thing I've found is this Falcon from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I kind of briefly looked through their Halloween stuff. Maybe we'll have to look a little bit closer, but I'm not seeing anything yet. Well, if they had the Frankenstein, I think it would actually be right here. Dr. Facilier. Oh, actually. Oh, <laughs> there it is. That's the one that we're looking for. Box is a little beat up, but, hmm, I don't know. We might, eh, 
I might pick it up. It's kind of cool. And they also have a black light Sally that's up there as well, but interesting that they, we were able to find that. Well, folks, I'm at my last stop at Walmart, and what do you know? They have the pop mask. <laughs> Finally, after all the Walmarts that I've been to, they have them. And I think they've had them at Target, and I've just not been looking in the right place, but you got Gizmo, you got Joker, Optimus Prime, Sonic. Uh, we also have Aang, we have Stitch, Jack Skellington, and Sally, and Batman. If I were to buy any of these, it'd probably be the Sonic one. I'm kind of interested to see what this looks like here. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. Oh, it's just got like the little thing in the front so you can kind of see, and then the little strap. Interesting. And a little thing so you can hang it on the wall. So anyways, I think uh, I think I might buy this Sonic one. I'm debating on it, but it's kind of interesting to find the masks finally. Kind of a weird concept, but they're fun for sure. All right, folks, I am back. And you guys are wondering, where is the Sonic Funko Pop mask? Well, unfortunately, I didn't have my wallet and um, I guess Walmart doesn't accept like Google Pay, like the touch pay that you have on your phone. So I'll have to go back and, and eventually buy it. But either way, I still got a bunch of stuff that I can show off to you guys. One of the things that we got from the first Walmart was a card game and also this ornament, the card game, the It's Wild Spider-Man one. I've already actually gave it to my nephew. We've played it and it's actually a really good time guys it's kind of like a mix between uno and phase 10 but it's a perfect game for me and my little nephew to play we had tons of fun and then the other thing that i picked up guys was this really cool funko ornament of indiana jones now indiana jones actually holds a pretty special place in my wife and i's heart when we were dating we watched all three of the indiana jones like original trilogy films and it was just an overall good time and we had a lot of good memories watching those movies so i thought it would be cool you know to have this christmas ornament to add it to our christmas tree this year which is kind of crazy to think like christmas is only like a couple of months away and we'll probably be putting up our tree sooner rather than later which kind of blows my mind but either way this is definitely a really cool piece glad to add it to my collection all right kind of a random thing guys i bought this at entertain mart this is the homer simpson giant pez isn't this thing freaking cool Meh. i know it's not fungal related but i'm a huge simpsons fan and i figured for ten dollars i'm not gonna pass this up so while i was checking out at the store i did notice that this was 20 years old and they did suggest to not eat the pez candy that's inside of here which i totally agree i don't think i would be fine with eating 20 year old candy pez is great and all but i don't think i'm gonna lose any teeth over it but if you want to take a closer look at this guys i'm pretty sure this is the you know the same look as the classic homer simpson pez but just like a lot bigger how many inches is this it says it's it's over 12 inches tall so over over a foot tall i do like on the back right here guys how homer simpson kind of has his like mm, donut face you know kind of like the, the little drool face i wish that was on the front of the pads but it's just his normal face <laughs> thank you either way kind of a random thing but really really happy to add it to the collection and i think it'll look cool somewhere back here we'll have to find a spot for it but Really cool giant Homer Simpson Pez. All right, pre-order at GameStop that I got, guys, was this right here, the Japanese TV series Spider-Man. Did I say series twice? Either way, this is what I ended up getting from a pre-order. I was hoping to get the chase, but that was not the case. I didn't have this in my collection, so I figured, Either way, with the comment, it's a good one to add to the collection. And I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I don't really know much about the Japanese TV series of Spider-Man, but if you kind of look on the back right there, it definitely looks like a crazy time for sure. But either way, I think we'll eventually we'll come across that chase somewhere, so I'm not too worried about it. But since I do collect Spider-Man stuff, I definitely had to add this to the collection. All right, Walgreens pickup, guys, we got the Black Light Frankenstein. Fortunately, the box was a little bit damaged, but I was excited to find it nonetheless. And you know, sometimes I'm a little bit 50 50 on the black light pops guys but this definitely translates well to black light you know with the green skin of frankenstein and also with his purple shoes and shirt looks great and i'd be really interested to see if they end up making you know the other universal monsters into black light form i would definitely buy them because I, I think they would look awesome but in case you guys are wondering there's no little sneak previews or anything on the back right here it just says universal monsters and kind of has that black light box design but either way hopefully in the future we get black lights of the universal monsters i would definitely pick them up but this is definitely a good start all right final thing that we bought for the video today we have the venom comic book cover and this overall is my second comic book cover i've got the spider-man that's back there 
I will definitely have to make a spot for Venom, probably like right underneath it. But one thing that kind of intrigued me about this, I do like Spider-Man stuff, so Venom's definitely Spider-Man related. The one other cool thing about it, guys, is that it glows in the dark. I believe it's that green kind of ooze coming out of his mouth, and maybe even his teeth and the eyes, the white parts of the figure. Most of these comic book covers, if I'm not mistaken, are based off of the first ever appearance that these characters had in the comics. So this would be Venom's first ever comic that's on the back right here. Either way, guys, some of these are really fun to display. A couple of the other ones that are kind of similar to this that I want to get into are some of those VHS covers. So eventually, maybe we'll have to buy some of those. But for now, I do dig these comic book covers, and this is a solid one to add to the wall and to my collection. But overall, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I came across. We went to a bunch of different stores. And I would have to say, even though it's not Funko related, my favorite thing would probably have to be the giant Homer Simpson Pez. But either way, let me know what your favorite thing was. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. <gasps>